Hello, hello, hello. Welcome again, everybody. TK Buffalo Gaming. I am TK Buffalo. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Seven Days to Die. Taking just a little quick uh, recap of what happened last time. I did finish off the tutor tutorial, went to the trader. Now I've respawned back to where my sleeping bag was initially. I have placed a land claim block, as you can see. It's the green lines is what it covers. I did put down a campfire near the kitchen on the table there, as well as a storage chest for some food. And right now I'm just trying to fend off some zombies that are upstairs, clear that base out, and start uh, just collecting and, and making more boxes and, and looting and things like that. Uh, also, just want to try to show you that I did notice something outside. There was like a boarded, just boards laying there I just wanted to get. And uh, it turns out that there was like a safe underneath it by a tree over here. Right here. There's a safe. I didn't unlock the safe yet, but that is there. So if you see, like, boards laying across the ground, might be a good idea to hit the boards and see if there's a safe or some sort of goodies underneath there. I'll get that later when I get a pi um, pickaxe going. Right now, I, I don't have that. So, um... Just want to do a quick reminder as well. Uh, we are pushing here. Uh, promotion... To get our subscriber base up just a tad, we are offering anybody that is a new subscriber to the YouTube channel between now and December 31st, 9, uh, 2019, 9pm 9 Eastern Time. Uh, anyone new, we're going to have a drawing December 31st, and the winner of that drawing will get one free month of our gaming services and server access beginning January 1st. Now, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, hit like, put any comments that you'd like to see with this game or anything else, any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. zombies than there are, like, stones lately in here. It's crazy. Alright, there's a stone. Because I already need to repair this axe. They don't last very long at all. And I don't have arrows that I can make. What do I need? Oh, I can't make some arrows. Six. I do need more stone, though. Should be able to take out this guy outside. Okay. That went right through him. So that's always good. I mean, that went right through the center of him. You can't aim for the head because, look, it just goes right through him. So this game is a lot to be desired as far as I'm concerned. There's, it's fun, but like when you do stuff like that... Yeah, see that one right through him. And now I'm out of arrows, so it's stupid. Done. So is my sledgehammer. Alright, so I'll take a look inside, show you what I've got going on so far. There's my campfire, there's my chest. Alright, upstairs, let's take a look. Are these ladies still here? There's up there. Popping out of nowhere. How many times do I have to hit her with a stone axe? I don't know. Oh, I got another one. The range is absolutely amazing. And I'm dead. I don't know 
I said near my bed, I could be on it. So basically they can get three shots on you and you're dead. And as you can see... Oh gosh, now I got this guy around my house? What the hell? I just cleared this. Boots, worn boots. All right, I'll we'll go with the gothic boots. What the heck? Always check behind the paintings. Wonder bus. That's interesting. Wonder bus ammo. Okay. That is some serious old school stuff. Cool. A blunderbuss. I was not aware that this was in the game. Alright. Trying to figure out... See when you see a misplaced board like that? There's usually something hidden behind it. Okay, well, I really wasn't worth it, but... Yay, a pistol! I only have some weapons here. No ammo yet. Under bus, I've only got eight shots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not for Wonder bus. She didn't get up after that either. So that's a one-shot deal. Nice. Empty backpack. What do we got here? Nothing. That's the guy outside, though. Got a nice little patio here. Cowboy boots. Medical supplies. Bandage. Painkillers are always good. Anything else in here I need to search? Nightstick and clothing. Pants. He's coming upstairs, huh? Not so fast, buddy. Alright, so he got the one shot in on me, but that's alright. I hit him with the blunderbuss. Make some serious noise. Come on, Daddy. Oh, he took more than one shot. He has destroyed the pro. Oh! I like the blunderbuss, man. That is nice. Oh, wait a second. There we go. We need some painkillers after that. That blunderbuss is pretty cool, but look at how much damage. At least I can clean it up. It's a level two, so it's better than nothing. All right, good. So, it looks like Frame block. Let's 
make two of those, right? Put those in where the sledgehammer was. We need to fix this stuff. I need to use, so let's take a look at the skills. I've got one point I can use. Let's do it under... I don't know. Lucky looter. Let's... Oh, I can't do there. Junk collector? Okay. We'll do that. Alright, so that's good. Base is now. I don't want to say secure. But. There are no longer any zombies in it. So now. Get back to business here. Okay, we'll throw some peas in there, the vitamins. Cowboy boost, I'm just gonna scrap. Pine seeds. Murky water glass jars, we'll put in there. Snowberry, I'll put in there. It's supposed to be food, medical, water type stuff. Food, drink, medical. I'm gonna keep the one painkiller on me though. I can't repair. Okay, good. So we've got our home base established pretty much. I like it. We can start emptying it out if we want to upgrade. Do whatever we want to do there. Taking it apart though. Now that I got a wrench. That's good. Yeah. Take those parts, we're gonna need them at some point. Excellent. Alright, good. I think what I wanna do now is I wanna make. Make some more storage crates or chests. That is our timer for our time. So we're gonna cut this episode here. And now that you've seen where I'm going to build, um, that's where I am on the map. You can pause it, you'll see the coordinates. But uh, that's what I'm gonna put the base in for now. Temporary starter base. Uh, I cleared out the house, put up campfire. And I'm working on some more storage chests. And when you come back next time, you'll see what else I've done. And maybe we'll do some online play if we can get enough members of our community together. We may do a live stream at some point. So if you have not done so already, hit that bell for notifications in case you decide to go live. You'll have notifications to watch us uh, if you so choose to. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Certainly uh, place any comments in the comment area. Patreon, Discord, our website, all those 
links will be in the description of this video. And again, thank you so much for watching. I am TK Buffalo. Thanks again, and you have yourself a great day. We'll see you all next time.